It was supposed to be a march for unity. It was certainly big. This is incredible. Never seen anything like this. But amid the festive atmosphere, one scene exposed deep divisions that have driven Spain to its biggest crisis since the end of the Franco era. The route of the march led past the headquarters of the National Police. Last week, there were angry protests here after officers from the same force brutally prevented people from voting. But this was different. What did you think about what you saw in the polling stations when, when the police were beating voters? I think that that was horrible, but that, that was necessary too. You thought it was necessary For to the, beat the voters? Um, no, no, to hit no, but the pen that they, can, uh, they can't break the Spain. Those who oppose independence support the police, and perhaps that's not surprising. What is surprising is what happens next. Officers appear on the balcony, among them the most senior national policemen in Catalonia, and they salute. The crowd knows exactly how to interpret the gesture. Really quite extraordinary to see this in a Western European country in the 21st century and a national police force making this kind of a political statement. All this adulation, it's thirsty work. Luckily, there's a handy tapas bar next door. The police chief and his deputies take time out for selfies at a cheeky canya at lunchtime. Outside, a crowd gathers around another policeman, but now they're angry because he's from the Mossos, the regional Catalonian force. Unlike the national police, the Mossos stood aside during the referendum to allow the vote to take place. The crowd surrounds the Mossos van. Out, out, they chant. And they get their way. The national police eventually appears, but at a leisurely pace. In the end, it's not clear whether they've come to protect their colleagues or to see them off. For those on the receiving end of the violence during the referendum, yesterday's demonstration in support of the police served to underline Spain's deepening divide. Es que todos estos muchísimos que vinieron expresamente de Madrid sí que su policía. Pero no es la policía de vosotros. No, no es la nuestra. Claro que no. Nosotros son los mozos. It was at this polling station that 73-year-old Gloria Yak a retired psychologist went to cast her vote. Instead, she says, she was assaulted by the police who injured her arm. But that wasn't the worst of it. Yo, mi imagen, que aún por la noche la veo, es un viejecito, que tenía, pues muy mayor, tenía una barba muy blanca, mucho más mayor que nosotros. Yo creo que, no sé, ochenta y pico, noventa, y lo cogieron por así en el cuello, con una mano solo, a chis, claro, lo ganamos a chis. Y lo arrastraron hasta la otra punta que yo pienso que aquel hombre no, yo pensaba es que lo van a ahogar y, y bueno lo que más me, me ha dolido es todas esas imágenes que no que me cuesta mucho superarlo más que el dolor físico sabes lo siento no quería no quería hacer ningún drama eh pero es que cuando lo pienso mira no se portaban como animales eran como animales the irony is Gloria doesn't support independence, but she does fear that the government in Madrid is reverting to the methods of the past. Yo creo que en el fondo hay una dictadura en Madrid, no aquí, eh? porque bueno, yo esto no lo había vivido hasta la dictadura y, y me parecía inimaginable que esto podía pasar. Sí, por andar en no hay problema. So what happens now? Mañana, mañana, they say in Spain, and indeed. Tomorrow's session in the Catalan Parliament might, or might not, be decisive. Merci. Right, so this is where it's all going to happen. We went to meet an MP in the governing right. party. Sit. Where do you sit? You the Coalition for Yes. Where's your seat? Uh, my seat is on the third. Their leader has pledged to declare unilateral independence. But Teresa Viverdu seemed to suggest that they could step back from that. 
there's been some talk and some confusion about what exactly will happen here on Tuesday. Will there be a unilateral declaration of independence or will there be a sort of soft declaration of independence? I cannot tell you that right now. Why not? Because because you haven't decided yet? Yeah, well, well I, I, I'm, I think we, we are still willing to talk and we are still uh, trying to find the best solution and, and that's why we ev every second, every minute is important because the best thing we can do is to talk. But the message from Madrid seems to be we're in no mood for compromise. El gobierno de España utilizará todos los instrumentos eh, que el Estado de Derecho pone a disposición del gobierno para evitar esa sublevación, esa declaración para romper Cataluña y el resto de España. Yo deseo y espero que no sean necesarios eh, actuaciones eh, de fuerza, pero el Estado de Derecho se tiene que garantizar con todas las, las consecuencias. Tomorrow is turning into a high-stakes political staring competition. Catalonia seems to be offering to blink first, but it needs something in return, and Madrid doesn't seem to be offering.